Hey guys, today we're looking at the updated Google Maps application. Uh, Google Maps is now available on um, iPhone and iPad, so you can go ahead and download it on your iPad now. It also comes with some uh, extra features, um, some new features that were not available in the last version, so we'll take a look at those. Um, the two main ones are offline maps and indoor maps. So we'll, we'll take a look at that. We'll uh, first look at offline maps. So as you can see right now, I'm connected to Wi-Fi so I can browse around to any map that I want. Uh, but, and you can see that it's loading this map because it starts out being blurry, but then uh, it goes into focus. So it's downloading it from the internet. Now I can save a map um, to the device so that I'm able to access it offline as well. And if I zoom out, you can obviously get more of the map and it'll save all of those little details, all those side roads, so that when you're offline, you can also zoom in and get all those side roads. So uh, this is kind of a hidden feature and I don't know why they don't really tell anyone about it. Um, or how to use it because I tried searching some help files in Google and there's not really any help files about it. Uh, so it's kind of hidden. How you save the map offline is you go to your search bar. Well, first of all, you have to obviously get your map uh, the way you want it to, to save. Um, like I said, you don't need to worry about the details that, that would appear if you zoomed in because it will also save those. But just get the area that you want to save. Obviously, the more you zoom out, the larger area it's going to be and the more space it's going to take up on your device. So when you get that area, go to your search bar and just type in OK Maps. Kind of like Google Glass, right? So OK Maps and then Search. Oh, and then... I didn't know it actually did this. So I guess there's a limit on the size. So it's asking me to zoom in. So let's zoom in a little bit. And we'll try it again. OK, Maps. OK, so it says preloading map. And the Google logo is filling up, showing that it is indeed downloading the map to the device. And pretty soon, it will say the on-screen map area has been catched. So now if I go offline, I'll turn off my Wi-Fi using the new uh, command center in uh, iOS 7. I can browse around this map offline if I zoom out a little bit. Oh, I already catched all this area. You'll see that uh, around here it's it's not loading all the details. So this is uh, the limit of where I have catched. And so I can go inside of this catched area, this area that isn't blurry, and I can zoom in to all those details uh, that I catched. Okay, so that is offline maps. Um, and now it's actually so hidden that I can't find any way to delete the catch. Um, I've tried several things in the search bar, um, and I've gone through the settings in the application and I just cannot find any way to delete what you have catched. Um, I've also looked online about how to delete catch and it's a setting in the settings menu in the Android version but for whatever reason in the iOS version there's nothing about deleting catch and so I have no idea how to delete catch so you may want to be a little bit careful um, about how much you catch on your device because it can use up quite a bit of space pretty quickly. Uh, so if worse comes to worse, you can always delete the app from your device and then delete all the data with it uh, and then reinstall Google Maps and that should give you a fresh start. Uh, another new feature is indoor maps, which give you uh, a view of uh, the inside of a building, basically. So we're going to look at Greenwood Park Mall. Oh, and first I need to remember to turn on my Wi-Fi. Let it connect. Okay, so it's loading up Greenwood Park Mall. And if I zoom in more on the mall, here are indoor maps. So I can see the layout of the entire mall indoors. It tells me, okay, here's an entrance and an exit. It tells me every shop that's in there, how to get to it. Uh, the obviously the white areas are the walkways and the shaded areas are the stores. Uh, we got some kiosks as well. So this is indoor maps 
um, a new feature in Google Maps where you can uh, look around inside of a popular building, um, mostly malls. Now, as I mentioned before, there is Google Maps now for iPad. So after Apple had that dispute with Google, uh, there were no longer Google Maps for iPad, and the only way you could access it is uh, Safari. But now you can download it from the App Store, Google Maps. Um, here it is running on iPad. It's the same as the iPhone version. You still have catched maps um, and indoor maps, so you can still take advantage of those features but now just on a much larger screen. So guys, those are the biggest changes in the Google Maps application, along with other bug fixes and standard things that come in app updates. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel for more tech news and tech videos. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.